good evening, everybody. Let's see, because I switched my tablet with my phone, because the phone was not working last time, connecting with the Wi-Fi to the camera. Just get your tea. Oh, thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much. Okay. And so I switched, and now I have to learn how to follow a YouTube live event on my smartphone, which is cool. I hope so. I have a screen of two centimeters now. Let's see. Okay, there you go. Allegro Vivace. Welcome, Mikael, Jeffrey, and Jason Alejandro. I'm sure I totally mispronounced your names. Welcome here from Colonia. Kaelin, great. Okay. You know how it is with the recording sessions. I just check now to see who's in the chat, say hello, and then I switch the phone and tablet to the live stream off. Anya's on the chat in the kitchen at the studio tape recorder. She is uh, answering chats or chatting with you. Sophie, my daughter, is also there. She liked it so much yesterday that she's again, well, she again will be late in bed, but she uh, doesn't need as much sleep as I do, actually. That's great. So I just put my phone here. The session of yesterday will be on YouTube tomorrow. And there is also, I've uploaded a vlog today talking about um, the point where it happens. So it's always a stress factor number one. Finding that spot of the balance at zero point at zenith, the horizontal, horizontal line. Okay. I think we're going to jump right into the session. I have been playing about 15 to 20 minutes before. It's like preparing for a football match, so I'm, my fingers are feeling great. So I think we just hit the record button. There's about six or seven minutes tape left on the previous tape, so that won't be enough to the first part of the third partita, but we'll see, and then Anya has to
Does it tape? Okay, just rewind. I think it's okay. Just a few places. About the ending of this. I but in fact, I'm adding one bar to the piece. So would you think Bach would mind this? I don't think so. I hope so. So I just did it. the ending again. It was a little mistake in that second last bar. So to have that for sure and to record a normal quote unquote ending. I like this piece when it's played a little bit neutral, not neutral in the sense without accentuations and things like that, but just like a basso continuo movement. <laughs> Clavichord sounds tonight a little crisper than yesterday, and I don't know why it is. It was not colder this night than before, a little bit warmer actually, so maybe it's just changing. I like it more as it was yesterday, but it's nothing you can do about it. You can tune and tune and tune, but it's, it's, it's in tune. That's the E flat always. It, the, the, the measurements of the clavichord are resonating on E-flat frequencies. So that's the most beautiful and the most problematic tone. I don't know if you hear that, it's, it has a kind of crisp, crispness. Someone like that. in pitch and tuning but in small elements so now we wait for the tape signal. It's better you don't see the kitchen or the recording department there live. It's not possible to connect with the second webcam the kitchen. Says. Just one more time, that's okay.
It just continues, okay? Yes. So hold on. in this tempo, but overall.
just continue. It's okay, if that's okay for you.
because the other take. First take was right. Scott? Yeah. I think that's okay, the first take. We, I just have to check, but let me drink some tea first. When the movement was right, when the setting was right, concentration goes to the next piece. That's the problem. I take the risk, I think we have it. Just let continue.
tape, but it's still running, eh? Okay, then rewind. That is going, that went very fast. That's 30 minutes. I think the cerebral is okay. So what I'm going to do now, just wait for the tape to be rewind and then do it again. I, I have to do it again because you never know that something is missing or just one of the just one um, attack of one thing is wrong and then yeah, you need a replacement take always so so it'll take a few minutes now finish my tea I have to keep myself from looking at the chat but I have to stay with the music now Just a little bit more crisp and normally when you tune the instrument or a note here on the clavichord you have a certain range where you can decide what kind of color you want. Have it very dry, a little bit more with more color, everything. But now it's very narrow, so it's also difficult to make a good tone. Okay, just waiting now. That's the rewind. So now change of tape. Will be number nine, I think, or eight. So I'm sorry, just sitting here and not interacting with you, but. Not a good moment to replace tape between two sort of bundle tapes. Niet plakken nu, hè? Die, dat, dat die band er maar gewoon op. Dat is tape going on the machine.
small issue with the tape, no problem. Yeah? Yeah.
Hoeveel tips? Ja.
Hoe wil dan dat ze nog? Zet hem af, zet hem af, zet hem af. Dertig seconden nog. Schat, 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 wacht, 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 niet terugspoelen. Ik heb nog dertig seconden nodig. Hoe lang is hij af dan? Oké. Daar, ik denk het. Oké, het is oké. Ik heb nu 2 seconds nu. 2 seconds terug, want de. Ja, spoel terug en leg er nog even een andere op. Zo, het was just the last. Just one, 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 one thing. One thing. This, this. Die was a little bit slightly out of tune. Okay, and that's the only place in the piece where you have this this note clear in the in the, in the, in the treble. And then in the last bar there was I think on the very far background the car driving. Very far. So if I uh, just have five seconds for the other tape, just to make sure that maybe I don't use it, but so that I can sleep tonight. I like this gravity in this piece. I know it is 12-8. 12-8 means 4-4, a little it's a fast 4-4 four, four bar structure, but here I like it so much, this continuous movement, and the longer you play it, the better it is. It shouldn't be too heavy, but it should be walking, it should be very accentuated with a well, very full tone. That I like it on the clavichord like this. It's gravitate like Bach, like in the organs. Very heavy sounds, very 16 foot sounds. So, an organ probably you would play this with a full plane of 16 foot. Which on the on the Baroque organs really really worked well. It's not like on the organs from the 50s and the 60s and the 70s where the 16 foot really um, makes the sound much less trans transparent. But at the 18th century organs, the 16 foot adds really gravitate. So I'm just now changing the tape, and then I just play four bars, and that's everything. Been a long session tonight, but the whole partita, all third partita, if every, everything is okay, it's been recorded. I'm very happy with that. So we wait for the shout from the kitchen. It will come in 10, 9, 8. Thank you. Great. Now where is my phone to check if there is something in the chat? I've, 
It's a black phone on a black piano. It's black here. It's not a black piano, but it's black inside. Okay, this was a long session, so I hope you didn't mind. Let's see if there's something on the chat. There she is, my recording engineer. She's tired. Yes. <laughs> you have to only have to play. I have to change tapes and. Yeah, the only thing I wonder now is just the beginning. Fantasia. Yeah. If Sophie was not. Sophie is going to sleep now. So I get her upstairs. Yeah, if she was not here, I'd probably, probably continue now with the Fantasia again. But that we have to listen. Let's see if the chat is working, working. Yo, it is all scrolling now. I see Philip, farewell. Ivan, Philip, Robin, my Aunt Rita, Tante Rita, Carol. Just say hi. Just There's the recording engineer junior. Clap out, Michel. Oh, that's going so fast. 11 years. So yes, this, these partitas will be released on vinyl, but of course on CD and digital download. And we will have a lot of things added to that. I will make my own score with my fingerings and annotations and will be printed as a separate score. And some articles will go in the book that goes with the vinyl boxes we will make a, a, a really a package that you will that you want that is difficult to uh, to not want to have so to say so with a lot of value and content in so the, and this, of course the cds will be sold separately but we'll try to direct as much people to the vinyl box because the cds are in there with the book and then it's the production of, of vinyls of discs is much more complicated than CDs because it's basically it's much more expensive and there's a lot more that uh, you have to figure out and you have to do you can the printing of the book is something we have to find out the way the discs are presented the way the box is presented the way we want to have everything included in that box we want to have it with a kind of, I don't know, in English, we say in Dutch mousse, so it's a kind of something you can take out with all, where you can put in the book and the CD, so that's the plan. And we're definitely going to do that, actually. Leonardo, great to see you. Maybe you're away because it's, it's a lot of things in the chat. Carol asked if I played the piano. I did play this piano a lot when I was a little bit younger, so around 2000. I played that piano a lot, really, and actually, perhaps the 1st of February, I don't know yet, because now it's all the partitas, I am planning to release the CD that I've recorded on this piano, never release, because it's kind of, uh, I would I say, you, would, you will hear Chopin played in a way that's not too often played, if never, ever, so I did not release, I was not finding the courage to release that, it was 27 years. But I played a lot of piano, but not anymore since I have the clavichord. It's really not com compatible, for me at least. The keys are a little bit bigger, heavier. It plays much lighter than the Steinway, but much heavier than this. And I have the feeling if I play on the Irar that I'm losing touch with the clavichord. So I'm, it's a pity because it's a really beautiful instrument. With the bass, you've never heard that. It's 2 meter 55 is one of the biggest of that time. The vinyl, Ardian, um, we have a release date for 15th of October of this year. And we will have um, subscriptions, which we have to figure out, in fact, what all of that will cost to us. It will be something, if we add all the figures, it's, it's really not cheap to make this. But we will announce the pre-sales of it and this and we will probably do some very crazy actions so first then at, at, at the basic price and then going up 
we don't know even the actual sales price but that's coming very soon so in the coming weeks we should have more information for that okay so it was a long session tomorrow i'm hanging out so to say with the video creators again so my course making youtube a better channel my channel and it's with tim schmoyer videocreators.com you will find them on youtube as well and that's a lot of work it's fun to do and i will come back to you with in the blogs with some things that i want that i would like to ask you and present to you what your opinion is for that okay there we go have a nice evening have a nice day depending on the place and on this planet where you live and we see each other maybe wednesday again or thursday but definitely this week so see you next time bye